Hey everyone, it's T.B. Shores. I know it's been a little while since you've heard from me, um, but I wanted to make a quick video, um, a little update first, because I know some of you have expressed to me missing my videos. Um, the Lord is just teaching me right now. I'm listening. I'm trying to uh, seek Him and learn more and just be obedient to what he would have me do. But right now, he's he's not got me lot, uh, putting a lot of anything up. Um, I am learning a lot, but it's mostly for my personal spiritual growth. Um, but I did, I just wanted to let you know that um, the Lord's working on me on an individual level right now, rather than a share with everybody level. Uh, I do still have some dreams that I think uh, would probably be something the Lord would have me to put up. And I will, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. But I will try to get to those soon. But right now I want to, first I want to read some scripture the Lord took me to, not last night, but not before last. Um. I'm just going to pick up right here. This is Galatians 1, beginning with verse 10. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. This is picking up at verses 11 and 12. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay, what this scripture is saying to me, and I didn't understand at first when the Lord first gave me this, I did not understand uh, exactly what he wanted me to pull away from it. Um, it wasn't until after I received a phone call that I understood why the Lord had taken me here because it was off the beaten path of what I was studying. And it didn't tie in with what I was studying. So I was a little confused about it. So what this scripture is talking about is basically it's not seeking to please what, what men want to hear. But us being taught, see, being taught by the revelations of Jesus Christ, us speaking what the Lord gives us and not worrying about whether it pleases man or not, because it's about being a servant of the Lord, okay? Not uh, catering to, to man's ideas of, of what we should be or what we should be saying. Um. And the reason I wanted to bring this out has to do with, uh, well, this video is about this scripture, a phone call, and a dream I had. Okay, I point this scripture out because after I had this phone call from a family member, I clearly understood why the Lord had taken me here. Um, I won't get into great detail about the phone call. I'll just say that. Uh, it was someone I highly respect. Uh, it was someone that I see as a godly person. And uh, I've always felt was a humble person. So having said that, you can understand why when I received a phone call that was clearly stating that they did not understand my walk with the Lord. Um, it was pretty much made clear to me they didn't think I could be in the will of the Lord. Um, but it's all about, it was all about what they felt I should be doing as a Christian. Okay? Um, I was really discouraged by this conversation 
and I'm, I'm just trying to think what's the best way to describe this. Uh, it, it, to me, this conversation was all about um, trying to point out to me that I was not and could not be in God's will or, or living for the Lord because they didn't agree with um, the way I choose to do things. Now, it wasn't about me living in the world because I don't live in the world, although they did kind of bring that up, and I'm thinking, how can you say that when you don't, you know, you couldn't really know me if you would say that because I do not live in the world. Uh, the Lord has removed me from things that are of a worldly nature. Yes, I have to continue on uh, with my um, things I need to take care of within my family and my home. But uh, the Lord has very much removed me from things in the world. Uh, I don't even watch TV aside from uh, watching the news or uh, a gospel or religious uh, program of some sort that I feel is appropriate. Uh, I said that just to try to get you to understand the level at which I do not live in the world. Um, anyway, there were several things said, and I won't get into the whole conversation, but it did leave me very discouraged. It was clear this was an, an attack from the enemy because the enemy wanted wanted me to be discouraged. And the best way to do that was to bring someone against me that I had high regard for, that I respected, that I felt was godly. And my point in bringing this up to you is that that we are coming into a time of attacks, and, you know, and the Bible speaks of, um, how things will be in the last days in that even our family will turn against us. Um, there, oh, there's just so many things I could cover right now, but I'm going to keep this simple. Um, but my, okay, back to the point at hand. Uh, when, when this conversation was done, I was feeling very discouraged and I took it to the Lord right away and I told the Lord, I said, I need you to show me if I'm on the right path. Uh, show me if I'm on the right, the right path. Or show me if I'm on the wrong path. Um, because I needed the Lord to, to give me or take away this, the discouragement that, that came up in me from this so that the enemy could not use it to drag doubt up in my mind. Because it's when we let the enemy drag doubt up in our mind, it's when we get confused on where we stand with the Lord, we get confused on what we need to be doing for the Lord, uh, we get depressed, we we get in despair, uh, we, we just don't know what direction we're going. Uh, and it only takes just a crack of doubt. So when these things come up, we have got to take it to the Lord right away. So that's what I did. And I, and I asked the Lord to show me if I was on the right path. And uh, he gave me three dreams. I'm only going to get into one of them because it, it was the most uh, appropriate to go with what I had requested. The other was about decisions and uh, where I stand with him. But this one goes right with what I had asked him. Anyway, I was in this house and everywhere I turned, I had to make a decision on where to go, whether it be to open a door. And I came across this these staircases. 
So I was having to decide which staircase I was going to take. There were two staircases in the house. Um, one was a spiral staircase. One was like a, uh, you go down several steps and it turns a corner. And you go down several steps and it turns another corner. Um, and then I walked out on the balcony. And there was another staircase. And this staircase, I looked down it. It was very steep, and it uh, was rode over with bushes, and it was dark. You couldn't see the bottom of the staircase. You could only see a short distance, and then the bushes, the growth of the bushes overtook it. And if you took this staircase, you didn't, you couldn't see where you were going. And I didn't like any of the choices. I didn't want to take any of these staircases. So what I did was I jumped off the balcony. And when I jumped off the balcony, I landed. And this is so amazing. God is so good. I landed on a path that was straight. I mean, it was super straight. I remember it clears everything. It was so straight and narrow. Okay, and we know what the scripture says about the straight and narrow. Anyway, I jumped off the balcony, landed on this straight, narrow path, and ran down this path to the end. Okay, um, it just amazes me how, how the Lord so specifically answered what, what I had asked um, so that any doubt could not creep up from, from this discouragement, from this phone conversation. And this dream was about the different choices that are given us. You know, the spiral staircase represents um, how things, you know, choices we make cause us to spiral down. The other one was about... Um, turning corners and not being able to see around the corner or see where we're going. And it was dark as well. And then this one outside, how steep it was, but it was growed over and dark and you couldn't see the bottom. And so my, my decision was to just take a leap of faith as I jumped off the balcony. It was about a leap of faith and landing on um, the straight and narrow path that I ran down to the end. Um, so the Lord clearly showed me through this dream that, that I am on the right path, and I thank Him for that. It just put a lot of joy in my heart. Uh, it took away the discouragement that that phone conversation had left me with, and I just wanted to share it with you. The important thing that I want to stress here is that the enemy is going to start coming against us through those that we would not expect to be attacked from. And we have to be ready for that. And when it happens, we have to take it to the Lord right away so that he can take that discouragement from us and give us something to put joy back in our heart so that we don't let doubt creep in to where the enemy can run crazy with it because we all know that when doubt creeps in that's when satan confuses us the most so i'm going to leave that right here i love y'all thank you for listening bye-bye